If you've done any kind of presentation, you know there are plenty of ways that you can highlight or emphasize a specific object within a slide, photo, newspaper, or any other object that you put on your screen. One of the simplest ways is to draw a circle around the object that you're trying to emphasize. I'm going to show you how to do this now in After Effects, not only on a still image, but on a moving image as well. As you can see on the screen, we've got just a picture of a motherboard here that's in a composition in After Effects. What I would like to do is have a circle drawn around the SATA connectors just like this. To make this effect, it's really quite simple. Here we have an empty composition, and I'll bring the motherboard photo down inside the composition. I'll also stretch it out now just to make it look good. The first thing we're going to do is to draw a circle around the objects that we wish to emphasize in the picture. In this case, the SATA connectors on the motherboard. Make sure that you've clicked once on the layer itself. Come up and choose the ellipse tool from the toolbar and click drag to draw your circle. In a sense, we've just created a mask but we'll be doing some adjustments and you'll see how this works. Over here in the effects and presets, the effect that we want is the stroke effect. I type the word stroke and it comes up down here and all I'm going to do is click and drag it and drop it right on top of the layer. The stroke effect is going to allow us to choose the color for our circle and also the thickness of our circle. Let's start with the color. By clicking here on the white square, we can choose whatever color we'd like. I'm going to choose red. Also, I'm going to choose for the brush size a little bit larger than what we have now. Instead of two pixels, let's make it four. If I click away, you'll see that we now have a nice red circle surrounding our SATA connectors, but everything else seems blanked out. This is because our mask is actually interfering with what we want to do. So here in the mask properties, we're not going to say add here, we're going to choose none. Now when we click away, we see we have a nice circle drawn around our SATA connectors and the entire motherboard is visible. Here on the timeline, let's make sure that we put our playhead where we would like the animation of the circle to begin. I'm going to choose here at about 5 seconds. Up here in the effects area where we use the effects for the stroke, I'm going to choose the start option and click and make a keyframe. The property we're going to be setting it to is 100%. And then by moving the playhead a little further, this is where the drawing of the circle will be complete. Back here in the start property, we're going to choose zero. So now if I click away, you'll see that our circle is drawn, and then I can move our playhead back to the home position and do a RAM preview. Now we have a nice animated circle that's drawn around the area of the motherboard that we want to emphasize. Now we're going to look at how to do this on a moving picture within an After Effects composition. Here on the screen, you can see a really nice composition of a star field. And if I do a RAM preview, you're going to see the infamous Starship Enterprise going across space. What I'd like to emphasize here on the Starship Enterprise is the main deflector dish. That's this area right in here. So how can we draw a circle around a moving object? Well, basically, we're going to do the exact same things as we did before, but add one extra step. I'll drag the playhead back to the original position, and then I'm going to make a duplicate of the Enterprise layer. So I'll click on the Enterprise layer, do Control D or Command D on the Mac, and I've now made an exact duplicate of the Enterprise right on top of the original. If I drag the playhead out a little bit, you'll see there's really no difference. So now we're going to employ the exact same thing that we did in the still image. I'm going to click on the duplicate layer that I made, and now go up to the ellipse tool, make sure that's selected, and draw my circle around the main deflector dish. This time, since we have one layer on top of an identical layer, there's no black mask that's going to get in our way. Now if your circle's not exactly where you want it to be, you can come back up here and choose the selection tool, and if you bump the border of the mask, you can now click, drag, 
and move it anywhere you would like it here on your picture. Same situation now. We're going to go here to the stroke effect, click and drag it on top of our enterprise duplicate layer, and that's going to give us the opportunity to change the color and also to change the size of the brush. Here in the color once again, I'm going to choose red. And for the brush size, this time since the picture is a little bit further back, I'm going to make it 10 pixels. Click away and you'll see we've got a nice round red circle around the main deflector dish. Same procedure here. I'm going to drag the playhead back to about five seconds. And this is where I want the circle to begin drawing. Here in the start property, I'll set a keyframe. I will set the property to 100. Go about another second or so into the timeline. And we'll set the start property at this point to zero. Back it up now to the home position. Click away. Do a RAM preview. And hopefully we'll get a nice circle going around the main deflector dish. And there you can see how the circle travels right along with the Enterprise. So then later, if you want your circle to disappear, just change the opacity of the duplicate layer down to zero.